What's up, everyone? Doing another little live thrift. Thought I'd come in here, say hi to everyone. I found some good stuff right here, so I'm gonna show you here in a second. Don't make up. What's up? What's up? What's up? Doing a live thrift. Doing a live thrift. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it around, show you guys what I just found. Hey, Desire, what's up? All right, so normally this store is super expensive, but check this out. Um, where'd I put it? Uh, there's a small Adidas. I might have to think about that shirt. What's up? Hey, hey, hey. All right, so look, check this out. I came in here. This store is usually super thrifted, but Travis Matthew Eagle Mountain Course, $4.99. That's an easy pickup. Has a little thing right here. But we're doing some line thrift. What's up? What's up, guys? Thanks for coming back. I wasn't planning on doing another thrift, but all right, so right here I found this Climate Cool Adidas. It's Travis Matthew, James Purse. That's a bolo brand if you don't know it. Men's polo. As long as it's in good condition, not super faded. Blade collar USA. USA. That's huge. Look at this Peter Millar with the St. Andrews course on it with that pattern, five bucks, and this and this uh all these five bucks usually they never do that usually they never do that thanks for joining in so i'll show these to people later but that's a that's a good pickup and if you weren't with me earlier i'm about to upload a really funny this is actually a good brand but i don't like buying it in the cotton anymore they don't sell as well for me what about you guys these uh johnny o's with the cotton i'm always on the fence about them the prep performance do well but um I was at a Goodwill this morning. Oh, there you go. There's Under Armour. See, I haven't been selling these for, I'm gonna start selling these with a surf's up way. Uh, just like promoted listings for like $15.99 out the door, get them out super easy to sell. So finding a whole bunch of polos all of a sudden in a store that's always super thrifted. Always, I don't even like coming up here, but let's keep looking. So look, we're looking for blue tags. So everything so far we found is blue. Here's another one, King's Barnes. I don't know, but if that's an, and Travis Matthew and, oh my gosh, y'all, that's why I did a live thrift real quick. I, I saw all this stuff. So we're just going to pick up all this for, for $4.99. Yeah, buddy, we're going to pick all these up. And this Nike, yep, we're going to pick all this up for $4.99. We're going to do that. Look, there's more. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Well, I know. You just never know. I wouldn't plan on coming here. So what I'm going to probably do with this Adidas like this, I'm gonna probably lot these up together. Five bucks, five bucks, I'm gonna lot these up. These are gonna be the surf's up method way. I'm gonna list these super quick and sell them super quick. Oh man, there's another Johnny O, another Adidas. Okay, what do I do with these Johnny O? Where's that other Johnny O? Uh, right here. So what am I gonna do with these? Do I buy these? Do I pick these up? What do you guys think? You're drowning in mids. What's mids? What am I drowning in mids? Mediums? One person donation? That's what I'm thinking. I need to go over to the shorts and pants. Shorts and pants are my favorite. What about these Johnny O's? Should I get them and lot them up? I think I could. Do a little tag by tag, side by side. When I do my thumbnail on these, I'm not going to do it. But I do like a tag by tag, side by side. It looks super good. So what brand is this? Jose Banks. What? No way. Get out of here. I'm not picking you up. Um, yeah, probably one person donation. So let's keep looking for blue tags before this place gets crowded. I mean, people come in here and and scoop up everything. And they've been pricing stuff up at this store. I don't know who's back there, but they need to stay back there. So here we go. Look at all these blue tags. There's more. I'm going. I'm going wild now. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put my YouTube. If you don't follow me on YouTube, follow me on YouTube. I was at a really funny thrift this morning. Seriously, if you were in there, it was hilarious. They were doing. We found stuff. Look, there's another Adidas. Uh, why is that one five ninety nine? I don't understand. I don't understand. No, I'll take that blade color all day long. I'm not paying five ninety nine for that. That's the difference. Just a two dollar price difference for an Adidas will make me not get it. Smell the shirt before I buy them. They smell good to me. They smell like money. All right, let's keep looking. Well, I've got to squeeze through this lady. Hey. I'll show you. This older lady, she's like. <laughs> All right, so anyways, this morning I was, uh, a little bit ago I was at a thrift and this place was nuts. They were like doing live shooter drills and all this other stuff and man, it was, it was crazy. All right, here's a good brand, Marine Layer. That's another good brand, guys. Bolo brand right there, $4.99. Pick that one up, Marine Layer. So 
That was a big sniff, I know. Well, I put my nose, I put my nose right next to the phone so you could tell I was sniffing. But did I actually sniff the clothes? I don't know. Only I know, only I know. All right, more Adidas, but it's not, I'm not a huge Adidas polo fan, but if I can get them for um, five bucks and do the surf's up method, take like two minutes or so to list them, then I'll probably do that. Make 10 bucks off each one, I'll do that. But we just found that marine layer. So what I want to do is not drop any of these. Why did I pick that up? I did not pick that up. So what I want to do, you passing up foot joy? Yeah. So let me show you that foot joy. Where'd that foot joy go? Um, wherever that foot joy is. Yeah, I passed it up because it is, uh, is old. It had the old tag on it. I'm not, I don't pick up the old foot joy toilet stuff. Jay Benzel. Um, where, what color was it? Wasn't it black? Oh, look, Travis Matthew. I passed up Travis Matthew. Thanks for making me come back. Um, where was that foot joy? I can't go, I can't go back there. I can't, I can't get through, I can't get through back there. All right. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. You buy women's too? Yeah, I do buy women's. What are you going to do with dingy shirts like that? What are you talking about dingy shirts like this? I'm going to sell them. People are going to love them. Like, these are... Oh, all right. So, here's your foot, Joy. This is an older one. Um, it's not going to sell well for me. It's got that sheen. Those don't do that well. So, this guy come through with his stuff. We're going to look for some marine layer. I like, um, I like tuxedo shirts, but they have to be a good brand like Brooks Brothers or Polo. Or, uh, I've actually found Prada found all sorts of them so let's keep looking there's a time in bahama for you mama not getting it though i don't like that one um let me be sure i answer crime rate drops Biden ended afghan war employment rate drops okay i'm not getting into that let's go with up southern treasures to get some stuff all right here you go here's Code nine. I swear today there's codes everything. Here's a James purse. That's a bolo. We just found another one, so we're gonna throw that in the arms. Wait till the end, guys, if you want to see all the stuff I got, because I got quite a bit. Hi. I can't get through there. I can't get through there. She's not let me through. She's not let me through. All right. So if you're new, if you just came in, I got a whole bunch of polo shirts. I'm gonna do it. By the pound is where it's at, money maker. Uh, I don't do the I don't do the outlet stores. A lot of people do. A lot of people have good luck there, but I like to live. I'm afraid I might lose my life if I go there. So it's not not my forte. What if these were uh, What if these were Burberry? That would be nuts, right? I found Burberry at the stores before, but that is a super good Nova check look. So we're looking for just blue tags. Looking for just blue tags. This place is crazy with their shoe prices, by the way. I can't believe I found all this stuff. Does women's or men's sell better? Uh, for me, men's. Are you jealous that I'm thrifting today? I, I'm i jealous of myself. This is what I would, this is what I wanted to do for life. For life. So it's tough. These aisles are short. This is a, I love picking up this shoe, but they're always super expensive. So I'm not paying 20 bucks and they're all beat up on the bottom. So I love these on clouds. These are a great brand to pick up. Um, people buy these. If they're in good condition, 70 bucks plus they pay shipping. Um, but, but no, what brands do you typically look for when thrifting? Um, look at my, look at my lives. Look, go to my link tree and look at my lives. Um, go to my YouTube and you can look at a ton of those videos. You'll see a ton of stuff I have, or you can go to my, uh, go to my eBay store, search up finds and you'll see what I've sold, what I look for. That'll give you an idea. Um, but long story short, most stuff that sells at like North, code nine at my gosh, four. code nine. Um, you go to Nordstrom's, that's the sort of stuff I like to sell. You go to REI, that's the sort of stuff I like to sell. So this, I swear, this is like a cashmere, but I have no idea how to look that up. If you can read that, please let me know. Other than the 105. Uh, I was confused selling, buying at $5 plus fee. How's it $10? So what I do is I buy these shirts at, um, five or five bucks. And then I list them at like fifteen ninety nine, anywhere from fifteen to eighteen dollars, and um, it takes me about two minutes to list them. It takes me about one minute to take the pictures of these polos, and then one. Oh my gosh, this is good. To, oh shoot, too bad it's just a chino. I, guys, I love Abercrombie and Fitch that are cargo. Abercrombie and Fitch cargo do great. That would have been, if those were real with the cargos, that would have been like 35 bucks plus shipping. But anyways, I do, um, 
I do that method and I only make like about $10 off the item, but it takes me about 10 minutes to, to list it. So in my mind, it's like 10 minutes, uh, or I mean two minutes to list it. So two minutes for $10, it adds up. There's Untuck It. This is an Untuck It too, but I saw this earlier on the, they just brought it out. It's nasty. And they actually just brought out a new cart. So look at it. Actually, look at this. Let's cheat. Let's cheat. Look at, oh, there's another Johnny O. Cheat. Let's cheat. Okay. All right, they just brought out a new cart, so let's look at it. Sorry, I'm not answering your questions, guys. I'm in my zone. Long shorts that not cargo are hard to find. I would buy those. Um, how long to thrift? I thrift as long as I can. As long as I can. Sorry about that. You're good. Much men's on this one? Nope, not many. Not many men's. I'll have a new one out soon, though. Okay, cool. I'll be looking around. All right. Oh yeah, this is all women's stuff. Not my, not my forte. Although I would look if she wasn't there. Um, okay, good finds today. Just turned in. What's up? Yeah, um, the first store, Lululemon stuff like that. Uh, second store, found a couple things. Look, she's got a cart too. She's rolling out. Ooh, I'm in luck. And then, um, oh, here's an untuck it I get. Guys, my brain's everywhere right now because this store is usually over thrifted. Untuck it, five bucks, getting it. If you stay around, I'll show you everything I got. So, anyways, um, yeah, I got some good stuff. And then I did a live just a little bit ago at a store, and um, it was crazy. It was like, uh, I, I guess, like, rough part of town, you would call it. And they were doing all sorts of, all sorts of, like, active shooter drills and all sorts of crazy stuff. People's trunks were open. They were doing, like, lock, bathroom lock checks, all this crazy stuff. So, I'm going to post that on YouTube. It's it's. It was crazy. We did find stuff there, though. And there were some, it is an educational video, so you might get some use out of it. Um, it was wild. It was wild. I made it out, guys. I made it out. I didn't think I'd make it out of that place. And then I went to another thrift store right after that. It's close by. I didn't get anything. So, all right. So, hey, man, how's it going? Going well? Good. It's, it's good. Poor guy back there is really nice, but he don't talk to me for forever, so I can't talk to him right now. All right, they just wrote out that cart, so I'm gonna go look at it right quick. See what we find. Who's this? Where's this? This is at a Goodwill. So what I'm doing is I'm thrifting at a Goodwill um, for stuff to buy and then resell. Um, or keep myself, but there's Butler's Bulldog. And this is a Express, nope. Um, there's a free people, super fuzzy. What do you guys think about that? Free people does not do well, but this thing is super fuzzy. What do you think? Um, I always go one by one in the rack. Yeah, I usually do, but I have a method to my madness. I'm wild. So what I'm going to do is actually, what do you guys think about that free people? Super fuzzy. It's a cardigan type deal and long. I know, I know. I, I think it's normally don't buy free people, but um supreme no 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 way no way you guys think that's legit let's go look at that in a minute but let's grab this i think this will sell because this is super cozy it's nice material it's a large it's a good size what do you guys think no 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 it's ugly yes no yes no wow ugly no yes no right i know it's hard to tell sometimes you find cool stuff on these i really don't look on them very often but look, like, here's a Carhartt. Here's a Carhartt um, for probably like a dollar, dollar ninety nine. What do you think about a Carhartt hat for a dollar ninety nine? What else? Mickey Mouse. I love Mickey. And American Equipment. No, no. But look, there's a Carhartt hat for a dollar ninety nine. What do you think about that? Is that worth it? Yeah, I do sell on eBay. I do sell on eBay. So if you go to my link tree up, up top, you'll see all my social media and my eBay. Um, you'll see where I'm at. Uh, and you can follow me. You can look at my store. You can see all the stuff I've sold. So you can see, like, the type of items I pick up, whatever. I don't know about this car hurt. I don't know. Get it? Get it? Everyone says get it. Get it. Yeah, but I don't want to. How much does it sell for, though, use? I just don't feel like it's going to be a really good markup on that hat. Let's see. I put it on my head, but we're at a thrift store, and I don't know. So what I could do, guys, what I could do is just look up 
the code on it. Where's the code at? Right there. I could look up that code right there. The 10, 20, 289, 211. Someone wants to do that, take a screenshot. Five, four, three, two, one. Look it up. So it is clean. It is clean and it's $1.99. So, all right. So let me just get a cart because this, this, this is getting crazy in here. Like I said, this store usually does not have great... I mean, they have good stuff, but it's so heavily thrifted because it's in the suburbs. Um, let me show you what I got. All right, and then we got to check out that Supreme, right? All right, so there's this Free People, Untuck It, James Purse. All these are five bucks. Peter Millar, Marine Lair, Johnny O. Johnny O, I'm going to lot those up. Adidas. Adidas, Nike, basically the same. Travis Matthew, um, all this stuff. There's some Peter Millar in here. Travis Matthew, James Purse, Peter Millar, this and that and all that stuff. But la no lingerie. Um, nice new haircut. Thanks. Yeah. My son and I got a two for one. Except we had to pay full price for each one of us. Makes no sense, right? All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. What state am I in? I'm in Indiana. Peter Millar is my grandpa. I, yeah, I get it. I don't wear Peter Millar, but guess what? Your grandpa buys it from me, and I love him for that. And check out St. Andrew's course. Look for a St. Andrew's course, Peter Millar. Familiar guys with, familiar guy, familiar eyes, familiarize you guys, <laughs> familiarize yourself with golf courses. Um, once you familiarize yourself with golf courses, you'll know what sells well. For example, St. Andrews is a really good golf course. Sorry, I can't speak. I'm just very surprised I found all this at this high-end thrift store. Usually, it's so expensive. Buy the whole store and flip it? Man, I probably would. Yeah, Scotland. Are the blue tags 50% off? No. So I'm looking at blue tags only because those are the new tags they just put out this week. If you're new to my um, thrifting, I do this daily. I thrift daily. And uh, their shoes here are expensive. And... So I know every week, I go to different thrift stores around town, but I know the Goodwills every week what tags they put out each week. So if it's green or brown or red or black, I've been through it because I've been through those weeks. This week is blue. So I can skip through every single thing other than just the blue tags because I've already seen the others from prior weeks. If that makes any sense. So if that makes any sense. So let's mosey around and go look. So there's a blue... But I think that's like an INC, like an ink or something. It's probably nothing. No, no good. No good. Ooh, look at that. Guys, you are for real. You guys are getting lucky with me. Look at that. What is that? Anyone name that brand? Name that brand. What's this next to it, too? My questions. What's this next to it? Uh, 14 Union. No. Name this brand, guys. Hummingbird? Nope. Better. Way better. I mean, the Hummingbird's cool, but it's a great brand. I'll let you guys think about it. But that right there, those pants will probably sell for $50, and they're going to cost me 5 So, uh, just curious, Authentic Supreme, because it legit merch. Uh, yeah, I don't know about the Supreme. I'm going to look it up. How much can you make a month reselling full-time? It just depends. Yep, Bird Dog. All right. Momo, Bird Dog. If you guys don't know, these are Bird Dogs. Let's look inside and make sure they'll say boom, boom for your stick. Probably. So, for your broomstick. For your boomstick. Yep. So, these are the bird dogs. These guys are good. They're good. Um, anyways, it's a bird. Where do I resell at eBay? Up, up top, Surf's Up Finds, where I resell my stuff. You don't have to buy anything from me. If I just get on here and help people kind of figure out what clothing to buy. So, if I go around it, it's just important to show you what's good as it is what's not good. I don't pick up penguin. Um... I don't pick up ripped up Calvin Klein pants. I don't pick up any Calvin Klein. Um, so this will give you an idea of some of the stuff I get and don't get. Um, there was a question earlier I wanted to answer that someone asked. I'm so sorry. I'm in Indianapolis, though, too. Um, Hollister? No. I forget what it was. I forget the question, but... Um, sorry if I missed your question. You guys can always ask me uh, questions on my Instagram. I'm happy to answer them over there follow me on my instagram but looks like i've got a road road stop ahead i don't know oh are we going are we going traffic jams over oh maybe maybe 
you know what? We'll just we'll just get out of here. Beep beep. But yeah, anyways. So yeah, I'm I'm really surprised to get all this good stuff in the store because they've priced up all their stuff at this store. I'm in the suburbs of Indianapolis, and they price them all up. Are men's clothes only? Um, I do women's clothes too. Um, so again, I'm looking for just blue tags. So I'm not going to go through everything because I've been through everything in the weeks before. But I do women's clothing too. Um, I'm new to women's clothing. I've been doing this since 2015. Um, if you're new here, I was a teacher for 13 years and I did it as a side hustle. And then I actually quit teaching last fall and do this full time. So now I have tons of time to do this. Um, I do better than I did teaching and it's a lot less stress. I just bought two pairs of these. I'm gonna pass, see if they're uh, salvage. Salvage, they're not. If they're salvage, they'd have two red lines in here. They're not salvage. I taught special ed PE. Have you heard of Millennial Profit? Um, I think so. Do you wash your clothes before I sell them? No, because I don't pick up anything that smells like smoke. Actually, this morning I found a pair of aloe, aloe, A-L-O, and I actually put them back because they had cat hair all over them. Uh, and it just wasn't worth it. Just wasn't worth it for me. I didn't want to mess with them. So what do you do new here? Uh, I'm a full-time reseller. So I buy and sell clothing um, full-time. And that's how I make a living. And like I said, I was a teacher uh, for 13 years. And I did it as a side hustle to pay for like daycare and everything else. Um, trip, sorry, something fell off. So I'll talk to you guys for a second. So did it pay for trips and uh now i do this full time so i quit teaching after 13 years and do this full time um, and it's fun i really enjoy it do you pick up levi's yeah uh no bed bugs i get that question all the time nope never had bed bugs almost everything i pick up is good stuff so like this is nike and peter millar and adidas like these aren't coming out of homes with bed bugs i mean you never know but i and i also keep don't keep in an area close to any of my beds or anything um I think I talked about a lie the other day. This is where that guy was. I was blocking the aisle. Um, but yeah, I don't... Gosh, these hangers. Yeah, I don't worry about bed bugs. There's, oh, five bucks. Yeah, these are my favorite. These I pick these up every time, guys. Even if they're $10, I pick them up. So these are um, Under Armour. You call them... Actually, these aren't the match play. They don't have the stretch, but these still will sell. I list these for $23.99 plus shipping. And they sell... Um, as quickly as I list them almost. Not that quick, but these are neat Nikes, but look how much. Look how much. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? This is what I'm used to out of this store. All the shoes here used to be $4.99, no matter what, all of them. Now they're doing this. So that's why I don't usually come to this store. Look at this. Some Echoes that are all beat up. Look at this. 15 bucks. Yeah. So anyways, that's why I don't come here. But we did find some goodies. Let me answer your questions. Um, where are you? I love you so much. Let's get married. Ha! My wife wouldn't like that, I don't think. eBay fees are so high now. Do you make a decent profit? Yep. Um, my Goodwill sell their books for 50 bucks. That's nuts. Yeah, our Goodwill, they price the books in the back as well. They have the little scanners and they price them. Um, so they do that as well here. Look at that. $15 for these books. These are really nice, but they're kids. But, um, yeah, they post our, their shopgoodwill.com. So they pull all the really nice stuff in the back, like antiques. I used to sell antiques, and they post it online. Or, or if they get, like, Patagonia or really nice Supreme. Let's get back to the Supreme. I don't know. I, like, with, with one hand, I don't know how I'm going to look in here, and I don't know how authentic this thing is. But it's got this little red tag here, so that's kind of a good thing see how much it is so it is five bucks five bucks what do you guys know about supreme here you go I'll give you a better shot supreme made in china so i don't know i don't know what do you guys think i never find supreme i find sometimes in t-shirts there's another hit on the back or something cool okay that helps Cordura. Yeah, if it says Cordura, if this is on here, I'm, I'm thinking this is for real. Um, just because they wouldn't add that. Um, I don't think, I don't know. I don't think that's, I don't think that's fake, actually. I've been doing it long enough. Cordura. If they put this on there, that's the type of material that's like waterproof. 
and I doubt they would make this little bag fake. They're going to make something fake. They're going to make it scream supreme. That doesn't scream supreme. I think it's real. Yeah. But you know what? For five bucks, it's worth a shot. That's going to be, if you watch my TikToks, that's going to be on probably one of my TikToks where I list it for 99 cents and see what happens. Um, there's some uh, Tommy Bahama. But yeah, that's going to be one of those 99 cents. See what happens. It, it's worth it for me. That's like, that's my version of a lottery ticket, right? So that's my version of gambling. I think it's real. Let's see. Other people might too. It's real. $77 new. Show Supreme tags. So here's the Supreme. It has this Supreme uh, right here. And then it has this Supreme. If I can get a good pick. There you guys go. Supreme right there. And the tag on the inside is right there. It's hard for me to get you guys to see it. But this is what makes it, I think, it legit. Because it has this Cordura or Dura, whatever. They had this on some materials or some bags and clothing. Cordura. So, anyways, if you're just now joining, um, I'm Brad. I buy, I go thrifting like every day and I go live. And I, then I post it on my YouTube too. So you can follow me on YouTube. And um, I buy and resell stuff. So I'm actually at a store which is usually super thrifted and expensive. But we found some bird dogs. I mean, this is a really good thrift. We found a ton of bolos. Marine layer, bird dogs, a lot of Nike, um, Peter Millar. Um, untuck it supreme carhartt so this was a decent little find let's go down look at jackets and stuff see what we find do i list good brands on your feed do you list good brands on your feed i list good brands on my um this is something i might pick up i list good brands on my um on my on my ebay site search up finds i mean i'm not gonna list brands that don't sell well that's my my job so these eddie bauer jackets I don't think I'm gonna pick it up. It's a little tattered, but sometimes the Eddie Bauer jackets do really well. But they're down. This is obviously down. Super, super buttery. Walmart sell polo now. Not polo Ralph Lauren. So here's Coldwater Creek. That's a brand not to pick up. Look at that. Hundred bucks. Wow, that's a hundred bucks. What a good deal for ten dollars. Nope. Good luck getting twenty out of that. Um. Yes, Cordora is perpetuating product pay for those tags yep exactly so i think that like i said i've been doing this since 2015 and i've been selling antique my store has been open since 2001 believe it or not when i was a freshman in high school so i kind of know like just you get a knack of uh, things that are good quality or not good quality or real or not real um obviously with clothing it's a whole nother ball game but I don't pick these spiders up anymore because I sell them at um, Costco. So they diluted the diluted Costco and spider got a collab and they diluted it. Um, do I strictly pick up half off deals? No, we don't have half off deals. Nothing here is half off. We don't have actually any deals here other than if you spend over $20, you get a 10% off. So if you spend over $20, you get 10% off here. That's the only deal we get. Saw these. Um, I might look over at the um, scrubs and see if we find some figs. I found a whole bunch the other day. So, damn you, Costco. I know, right? I love Costco, but I hate Costco now. That's insane. You don't have any. No, we don't have any anything half off. And matter of fact, um, shout out Indianapolis Goodwills. They got rid of all the Senior Citizen Day tags. Uh, discounts they were 30% off the veterans got a discount every day of the week they completely got rid of that one shout out goodwill central indiana for that one people don't like that i think that's ridiculous um and they used to have 99 cent days this is a good brand i used to pick up but it's been here for a while and it has a mark on it i remember seeing it so why don't you sell purses i don't sell purses because they pick them in the back and they resell them on their shop goodwill.com so i don't get purses plus i don't want to deal with authentication and people pick it all that sort of stuff so there's a north face 9.99 it's fuzzy um i don't know about this one it's all right what do you guys think it's women's though nothing against women's they just don't sell as much as well uh why is it good not to give discounts uh it's good 
No, they need to give discounts to senior citizens and veterans. They need to give. Veterans should be able to come in here and get whatever they want for free. If you've been shot at, you should be able to get whatever you want for free. That's my opinion. But anyways, cute, get it? It's ugly. It's, yeah, it's always one or the other, right? So I don't know. It's super fuzzy. The problem is it's ten bucks. If it were five ninety nine, these are sometimes five ninety nine. I'd get it. So I don't know. Do you have any baby clothes? I don't. We do all of our baby clothes at our garage sales. We have garage sales. So let's go over, see where the scrubs are. I don't even, there they are, this location. So I don't come here that often. I don't come here that often because it's a very expensive, it's a it's a suburb store and it's heavily thrifted and they overpriced stuff. Today I just got lucky. That's a cool pattern. Um, today I just got lucky. Lands in clothes, contact them. They will return their clothes anytime. Give credit for future, nice. Oh, he was joking about the video. My bad. I'm in Central Indiana too. Yeah, so you know, you know, you know what's up here. It's ridiculous. So when you look for, um, if you guys are new, uh, you want to look for figs. Figs are the like Lululemon of scrubs. Uh, I don't see any here. I know exactly what they look like. They have a little cross on it. Plus, there's no blue tags out here. So if you want to see some of the stuff I got, like I posted a whole bunch. What you want to watch are my lives. Um, and they're in my YouTube channel, my live um, hauls. So I'll, I'll post on there my live haul, and I'll just do like a live uh, on TikTok, and I'll post it on YouTube, and it'll just show pretty much every brand that I picked up. So I don't know if this is a new car. Sorry. Yeah, so I think they just rolled this card out. They did. They did. Azric, how nice is this? Getting some new stuff. Sorry, I'm not answering it. What are blue tags? So the, all the new tags they rolled out this week. So see how they're all blue? So they color code them. So after five weeks, they pull the fifth week tag. So in five weeks, they're going to pull these and send them to the outlets. So that's how they do it around here for us. Have you ever sold on whatnot? Nope, I don't do whatnot. Artix. Ah, don't be surprised. This is not a great brand, but Arterix is. Arterix. That's Arctix, not Arterix. So Torrid, no. Let's see what these suits are. American, uh, whatever, is not good. This is like a tweed with the elbow patch. So if it's a good brand, it could be good. Otherwise, not good. So let's see. Uh, made in Haiti. What is this brand? Tommy? Nope, not getting it. But if you find a harem bone like this, super wooly, tweed feeling um, with the elbow pads and it's a good brand like Polo or it says Harris Tweed, pick it up. Me and my grandkid wanted new baby clothes for his birthday. My bad, my bad. Yeah, I mean, we have plenty of them here. The problem is they've overpriced their clothes. Like all their kids' Nike stuff is like three or four bucks now. No, like four or five bucks now. Can you show the Supreme bag for a second? Yeah, I'll show you everything I got. I'm going to go through this last little section of men's blazers. They don't have anything new this right now. So they said this one. Um, but give you guys like an idea. Like, no. All right, so let's go through it real quick. So these... That's, these will sell, this is like a $20 bill. Everything in here are probably like 15 to $20 profit. So, I mean, this card alone will be like $250 profit. And then I, I've gone to like three or four thrift stores already today. But back to the Supreme bag. Oh, I got all these hangers. Let me get these off. By the way, Bird Dog, look for that symbol. That's a really good brand to keep on lookout for. Appreciate the likes. I like the likes. I don't. I don't get anything for them, but it makes me feel like you guys enjoy learning. Um, I was a former teacher for 13, 13 years, so. All right, so here's that Carhartt uh, hat everyone said I need to get. It's in good condition. I mean, it's only two bucks. Why not get it? Um, I can sell it. If not, my little cousin loves Carhartt, so I'll give it to him. Um, I end up doing that actually quite a bit when my wife doesn't steal, steal the stuff that I get to. Uh, all right, so here's that Supreme shoulder bag. Appreciate the likes. Can I say Carhartt? I say no to the Carhartt. Good sell-through, low comps. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. It's just a regular old. I mean, new, this is probably like 20, 24 bucks. There's no way this was like 50 or anything like that. So, I don't know. We'll see. Here's that Supreme bag. So, is it real? Is it not? That's the question. Um, it's only five bucks. But the reason, um, you, we're looking for telltale signs, right? You see the Supreme. You see the Supreme on there could be fake then you have your red supreme okay so we'll see this tag that isn't promising on the inside 
sorry. So there's a tag on the inside, Supreme Main China. That's not super promising. But the thing that kind of made me think that it is real is that it has this um, tag right here on it. Cordura. Dura. This is a Cordura. This is a tag they put on different shoes, jacket stuff. It's like um, it's like a waterproof type de deal. And I don't think a fake would put that on there. There wouldn't be a point. Um, what did I use it for? So five dollar risk it for the biscuit that's what i'm thinking so all right you guys saw everything i'm gonna pro probably post this one on youtube and if, you, if you're just coming in i'm gonna follow me on youtube and on um instagram you can look it up in my link tree and i'm gonna post this one and then one from earlier so you guys can see like what i buy what i don't buy so i always tell people for example i go through stuff and i'll also show you like what i don't buy so like ann taylor so people look at what i do buy but also brands i don't buy so it's a good way to know like Morona brands not to pick up if you're looking to resell them. Obviously, if you're looking to pick them up to, to wear, that's a different story. Um, but anyways, uh, they do put fabric tags on the fakes. All right, well, this is five bucks. And for me, I'm just gonna take the risk. So I appreciate you guys coming in. I wasn't planning on doing a live here. But I got super stoked when they rolled out um, a cart with all this stuff for $5.99. So I appreciate it. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye, guys.